What is up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over subarray sum equals k. Uh, it's a medium leak code question, uh, and Facebook loves to ask this question, so this is a good one to know. I started a Slack channel where I post a uh, daily leak code problem, so there's an invite link in the description. And lastly, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post uh, videos every weekday, so let's get to it. All right, so the description reads, given an array of integers and an integer k, you need to find the total number of continuous subarrays whose sum equals to k. So um, continuous just means like in a row, so k equals 2. They want us to find, here's the sum equals 2, and this one is equal to 2. So we would have a running count and return 2. Um, so this one's a real tricky to um, come up with. Let me grab my whiteboard. Um, so I'm going to try and draw this out for you guys as best as I can. So basically we're going to have a, a hash map and it's going to have, um, a sum and then a count. So we're going to have, uh, the first one we're going to add is the sum is zero at the start of the list. The sum is zero. We're going to have a count of one. So we're going to go to one and we're going to add it to the sum. So we're going to have sum of one and count of one and while we're doing this we're going to check do sum minus k so one minus k with two so one minus two equals negative one we're going to check to see if negative one is in the hash map because if it is that means we can get that um we can get k through the contiguous continuous subarray so negative one is not in there so we're not going to add it to count but for the next one we're going to add one again so we're going to get two one so two minus two equals zero so that means from here to here we can get k because we subtract k zero is already in the uh, hash map and so then we just want to add the count right here count to our count so count originally equals zero so we're gonna take this count and add it so count plus equals one but we're actually gonna call the hash map functions to get it and then the next one is the sum is um, three one so this time we're gonna do three so we're gonna take the sum three minus two equals one and then we're gonna check to see do we have a sum of one in the hash map and we do it's right it's right here so and the count is one so we're gonna add one again so plus one and our final count is gonna end up being two uh, so that's how we're gonna do it hopefully that made sense um, drawing it out for you guys um, I actually had to do a lot of research on this question because I mean it's simple once you like think about it but I just didn't see anybody like explain it well so I'm trying to do that better for you guys and so let's create our count and sum, initialize them to zero, and create our, so I'm gonna do sum count, so just so you guys know, and integer, so the first integer is our sum, followed by our count. All right, and so the, we want to add a sum of zero, because when we get to here, we want to do two minus two, uh, sum minus k, two minus two equals zero. And so we can get that, we want to add that to the count. So to do that, we need to put map dot put a sum of zero because we're gonna to check to see if the hash map contains the sum minus k. So now let's just loop through, let me move it over. Okay, so let's add, first thing we do is we add um, nums of i to, oops, <laughs> to sum. And uh, so if um, map.get, or what is the function? Contains key, there it is, the first one. Contains key, so we're gonna do, like I said, sum minus k, minus k. Um, and we're going to do count plus 
plus equals map dot get sum minus k. So we're getting the value, the, getting the value at the key of sum minus k, which is in the first instance it's um, zero. So we're adding the one like I showed you guys in the example. But then we also need to map dot put sum and for the um, count we need to do map dot get or default um, sum so this is saying get the uh, sum or the value at sum and if it doesn't have one put zero so the default is zero but we need to add one because we're adding another count to it and so hopefully that made sense hopefully you guys know how to use map dot get or default and then we just need to return count cool and let's submit it and pre it's pretty fast so we're just um looping through so o of n runtime o of n space complexity for the map um so this is a, a good solution. I feel like uh, you couldn't really shorten it anymore. So, and it runs pretty fast. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. I post videos every weekday. So make sure you guys come back for more and uh, see you guys soon.